Hello guys, it's Melly Simms and welcome to another video where today I am building an apartment for opposite roommates. So opposite in like personality and aesthetic and look and everything like that. I thought it would be a really fun idea. I know I'm not the first person ever to do this, but I was inspired by a thought that I had and I tried to look for this image that I was thinking of as I was building this and I could not find it anywhere, but I'm sure I didn't just make it up. It's kind of ingrained in my brain somewhere. I think it was from The Sims 2, but it's kind of an image of like a big room that's kind of cut in half. Like it is one big room, but half of the room is kind of one style and aesthetic and the other half is another. And the two like occupants of the room are kind of standing on the dividing line and kind of arguing with each other. I feel like it may have been the Pleasant Twins, I'm not sure, but I tried to look for it, I couldn't find it, but this was kind of on my mind and I had the idea to create an apartment with like this huge um, open plan bedroom that you can see has already taken shape here, where half of it is one very distinct style and the other half is another. So I thought that was a really fun idea to play with. This is, in my mind at least, a kind of student apartment. So I was imagining these are two like university students who would live here and because of that, in terms of the like more communal areas, so you can see the kitchen here, just using like a lot of the parenthood pack in terms of the counters and the cabinets. And I was thinking like, how would you kind of communicate two different aesthetics? But I thought if it's student accommodation, probably this area is just very basic. These, these are like the, the fixtures that just come with the um, apartment when you move in. It's only a temporary one while they're studying at university, so. Yeah, for this build, I actually first made the Sims that would live here just so I could get an idea of their personality and their style. So I was imagining one of the Sims is like a very gothic and kind of dark um, in their like aesthetic and their look. And the other one is a lot more kind of stereotypically girly and pink and purple and things like that. So um, one really great addition that we've had recently is likes and dislikes. So my like imagination the um sims that live here are quite musical so one of the sims um i had that she liked pop music and she liked playing the piano and the violin and the other one liked heavy metal music and liked playing the guitar and then conversely they disliked the um violin and then the other sim disliked the guitar so they basically have opposite likes and dislikes um so one of the sims really likes black and hates pink the other sim loves pink and hates black and um, so yeah i thought that was really fun and um, i think that's just another way to like really diversify the sims personality and it's it's really great for storytelling one little aspect that i do have here you can see that little like hand that we got with the paranormal stuff pack that's a little bit more of a spooky vibe but then also these like cute paintings from tiny living that's kind of one aspect in this area that i thought i could represent opposing sims but mainly it is in that bedroom it is a huge bedroom as you can see it's probably a little bit too big um but i know at least i think from what i know um in america especially like dorms um when you go to university you tend to share one like bedroom with someone else. So like it will be two beds in one room, which is absolutely crazy to me. I would absolutely hate that. I wouldn't feel safe. I wouldn't feel comfortable. It's just, yeah, it's a crazy concept to me, but that's what I went for. So you've got um, the two beds and because it is such a big room, I was imagining, you know, that's where you spend most of your time but I actually do have a few communal areas. So you see, I've got that like little kitchen space. Um, I've got that dartboard there as well. And then that big bookshelf, I end up replacing because student priorities, I actually replace it with a bar. Um, and you know, I'm not really gonna play in this apartment probably, but I thought it was such a fun storyline and I thought there's a few different ways you can go with it. But in my mind, they, don't get on very well and they argue a lot and they're very opposite but they're possibly in the same friendship group so i wanted to put lots of sort of areas in the apartment where you can imagine that they would just throw like parties and have friends round so they'd probably you know play darts and 
um have the bar and then i do actually have um a bit strange but i have a living area outside so this is one of the cold pepper house apartments and it has a really lovely big balcony and i actually make that into a living space um which you will see a bit later but yeah there are some kind of communal areas so i imagine they're not like fighting 100 percent of the time um but yeah, I also thought I can just imagine a really cute storyline where they actually end up getting together. I thought that was really fun. But yeah, it's just a kind of storyline I've never played with before. But um, you can see that I have one huge bathroom. This is such a big bathroom. I've never done one this big before. Um, and it would make a lot more sense to divide this into two bathrooms. Uh, especially because it is so big but I just thought that suits the story so perfectly that there is just one bathroom so that is probably another huge source of arguments the fact that they have to share this bathroom and if one is using it um the other one obviously can't use it so it would be a lot more convenient to say for example have the toilet separate to the shower or the bath but no I thought that kind of worked quite well in like you know the idea of roommates who don't get on very well often I know bathrooms are a source of conflict so yeah it is so huge I even managed to use that kind of triangle tub that takes up a bit of space there is also a separate shower the toilet and the sinks and the cabinets and stuff it is very big it's not really ideal but again it is a student apartment and I know often student apartments are not ideal so um often they do just have these kind of design flaws so I thought that kind of played into that idea um, and you can see that I did double check that this balcony has a roof. So I thought it's probably not too unrealistic to put like electronics out here. I thought it looked quite well sheltered, but I just wanted to make this a really cozy space and I absolutely love it. I used a lot of like dark blues in this space. Um, I have these fairy lights from toddler's stuff. I add some like fuzzy rugs from uh, Snowy Escape. I have that huge TV and that like games console because also a barbecue as well. So yeah, I was imagining, like I said, a lot of like friends coming around, a lot of parties being held because it is student accommodation. They are so studying, so they probably have a lot of people around and have a lot of like areas to entertain, especially because um, the bedroom is huge, the bathroom is huge, but the kitchen and kind of dining area is so small they barely even count as like a kitchen and dining area so it was kind of nice to have this space to go into and um, just use a few of the plants from the paranormal pack and then these are the snowy escape rugs i just put three of them down and yeah it just felt so cozy i put a little heater as well i imagine like in the winter it'd be really nice to kind of um, just sit out here on the sofa and then I also added that um, flip chart thing just because it is a student uh, apartment and I did want to make it a little bit more studious but moving on to the bedroom now I wasn't 100% sure about this wallpaper I'm pretty sure I keep it the same though it's got like bats on it it's from the vampire pack but yeah um, you can see there's definitely a very distinct style and one really fun thing that I did um, because as I said I made the sims so with their traits they both have the creative trait because they're both musicians um, but apart from that they're quite opposite so one of the sims um, has the good trait and one has the bad trait but actually or the evil trait rather but um, the one who is kind of gothic and like very black in their aesthetic they actually are the good sim and the one who has that kind of lighter more girly like pink purple aesthetic she is actually an evil sim and you can see i've got some clothing piles there i imagine that she's like really messy and i've heard this about angela and lilith pleasant so that's kind of i guess what i modeled them after so angela is supposed to be the angel and then lilith you know she's the gothic one um but there is actually some suggestion that Angela is the kind of bad twin and then um, Lilith is the good one so that's kind of what I was playing around with and um, just like yeah what I was thinking there I thought that would be quite a fun thing that's probably another source of like conflict between them one is a good sim and one is an evil sim um, but yeah, you can see I am using a lot of purple. I rarely use purple because I do think a lot of the shades of purple in the game are just too like bold and bright and not a very nice shade. I love color, but I don't really like sort of bold swatches. I like a little bit more muted tones um, with those kind of bright colors, but 
it fit the style really well just getting this um, rug from dream home decorator which is really gorgeous i absolutely love this rug and then in the more gothic style side i end up using a paranormal rug which i also love i feel like we've got some really good rugs lately um, but you can see I've got that huge stereo because I was imagining, yeah, this is a sim that blasts heavy metal music and, you know, plays heavy metal guitar into the early hours of the morning. And then the other sim gets quite frustrated. And yeah, I thought that was just a really fun thing to play with, just cluttering up the desk here and using the new bunk beds that we got with Dream Home Decorator, which I think are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love using them and it's definitely a space saver because I knew, you know, they're students, so I wanted them to have enough desk space. I thought that was quite realistic, but yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!